Not even on, oh yeah it is. Hello my strong, strong friends. I realize I haven't done many videos about my personal lifting or programming. I find it more fun to talk to other people and see like how they lift and how they program and what's going on with their interesting lives. Cause I can only be so interesting. But I haven't updated you guys on really anything. So I'm gonna try and the next couple of weeks I'll be focusing on making at least a few videos for my own personal programming. I have exciting things coming up. I'm meeting with Kim Walford next weekend, and then I'm going to IPF World to record with Jen Thompson. So those are like the strongest women in the United States, which is super exciting for me. This is my day of lifting. I have a bench workout today, and Ryan, what are you doing? I don't know. We gotta figure it out. I hurt my elbow last week, kinda tweaked it. And I was, my wrist was hurting. If you saw my Snapchat, I wasn't, my mobility for my wrist was really bad and it was just pretty painful. But then magically yesterday I started front squatting and felt fine. Ryan's like, you're just being a little bitch is the problem. Fair enough. But we're having our pre-workout meal. Pretty standard New York bagels. Ryan has bacon, egg, and cheese. Wait, bacon, egg, and cream cheese with tomato and avocado. I'm being completely healthy. I got a scooped out bagel. Oh no, he didn't scoop it. Oh well, extra carbs. Did he scoop mine? No, oh did he? Motherfucker. He scooped yours. <laughs> Damn it. And I got light cream cheese, I'm so healthy. Yeah, you're healthy. Um, but I'll have extra carbs and maybe I won't eat as much, drink as much orange juice as I planned. Uh, and egg whites and avocado. So, pretty standard breakfast for me. I've been following RP Strength. The peak of my bulk has passed. The most I was like hovering like 150 to 152. I'm hoping to get down to maybe like 147 and sit there for a little while. And we'll see what my coach advises. I've been working with Nick Shaw from RP Strength. So yeah, things are going well. And lifting has been going really well too. So I'll talk more about that at the gym. We're gonna train at a different place. I've actually have almost fully transitioned to this new gym, Mid City Gym. I found out from the gym's geotag that there were a few power lifters, and my friend Kat was wearing my Strong Strong Friends shirt. So I knew that I would be welcomed with open arms. Uh, and so far everyone here is really cool. I just am switching because I needed a place with actual power lifters. So that's why I wanted to change and now I can like train with people who are doing what I'm doing. I feel like your environment is really important. The equipment is one thing, but you need to have people around you to like encourage you to be strong. Because sometimes sets are just really hard. Uh, and lately I've been in a hypertrophy stage, so my volume has been really high. I've been doing four sets of 10, four sets of eight, four sets of 12, and that volume is like kind of hard to get through, especially on squats and deadlift variations. So. Um, yeah, Mid-City Gym. If you're ever in New York, make sure and you come. And tanning. And tanning. <laughs> Mid-City Gym and tanning, that's what it is. Arnold. Lifting. That's what they were doing yesterday. Today, I have a bench day. Close grip bench, have incline, weighted dips, and then I get to pick my bro stuff. So, we just have like a list of things that I can do for bro stuff, and I just get to pick and choose depending on how I'm feeling. Usually those rep scenes are pretty high, so I'll do like three sets of 15 to 20. Another reason why we're, we're joining this gym is because Adam just moved here. Remember Adam? I did a video with Adam when he was in the A session at the American Open in 2015. These will be added to the Strong Strong Friends store whenever everything else is stocked. I'm doing a like new shirts, and I just had a photo shoot for it last week. StrongStrongFriends.com. You can buy shirts, two new shirts I have, and then the shaker cup too. Well, the volume. 
volume has been a lot. I haven't even really trained with 135 on the bar until this past week. For the past couple of months, I've been training pretty lower weights, really high volume. I was kind of fucking around when I was in Boston with Mickey at TPS, and I hit a 160 PR. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more training videos, and let me know what you guys think. Like, do you want to see more of my training? I personally like to talk to other people and see what they're doing. I just find that more interesting for me. But let me know, and you'll get to see this nice, fun bench workout today. Tight. Close grip felt pretty good, especially because I ended up going two and a half pounds over than what was prescribed anyway. In my fourth set, Ryan was seeing that I was starting to like flare my elbows, so I tried to focus on my third to really keep my elbows tucked and use my lap. so close because now because you're already kind of hard. yeah and your knees are already below your hips so you're not going to be popping off but then I'll help push you in push the back yeah okay yeah because now my feet are like where I would put them if I were actually laying down but I'm not so see those are really hard <laughs> I'm like Close to failure. Although on the on the video that I watched in my first set, it didn't look that hard. But did, was it slowing down on my? Yeah, after a repeat, it was pretty slow. After a repeat. Well, the hardest part of my workout is over my like, close to competition movement, and then also my main assistance movement. And now I'm moving on to another assistance movement, which is dips, and then I do my bro stuff. <gasps> Actually, so I only filmed the first two sets of my incline bench, but I ended up only hitting 11 reps on my third set and then nine reps on my fourth. I was kind of rushing my rest because there was someone waiting for the machine, but the machine, the incline bench, but I should have just, I should have just waited another five minutes and then I would have maybe hit a set, but that's okay. You've been bigger than this. Well, I've been fatter than this. You've been heavier than this. I've been, I've been heavier. I've been bigger than this. I've never been this big. Okay. I feel small. Let me see. Physique update. <laughs> I'm 80 weeks out from my bodybuilding competition. Uh, Next time Chelsea competes, I'll compete with her. Every three years. Almost. It's 
but what if you on, what if it's you on the verge of like you're starting to see pecs a little bit. You want to show us the most muscular? Can you? Is that where you see your pecs? Oh, that's not really pecs. That's cleavage. That Do it. Get the eights. You can do it. I know it. Okay. Fives. No. Fives. Really? Yep. Okay, now body weight. Do jump and do. Is that how you get the pump? Is it? I feel like my muscles have gotten bigger. Wait, wait. You think so? Wait, 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 wait. Does anybody else follow Max Training on Snapchat? So I'm the most, I'm the heaviest I've been in a while. Um, and I'm the leanest I've ever been at this body weight. So that feels really good. And I think it's showing in my lifts. So today was a hard session. But we finished. Let's go bike home. Babe, do you feel like you're at home in the Philippines? My dad went to that high school. To that. De La Salle? De La Salle. Where are they from? Oh, look at the queen! The queen! It's my cousin. <laughs> Third cousin. That's racist, babe. No, probably. It's just, it's ours. Right now we're in like Flatiron District. Brian off at home and then I'm gonna go like down to the Lower East Side and meet up with Adam and I said for food. <laughs> we had actually had brunch and I didn't film anything there but I have some amazing chocolate chip pancakes and we took an Uber back up towards like Kips Bay is where we are right now. I took Adam and I said to this amazing rooftop bar. It's so nice. We're just hanging out. Yeah. Sunday fun day with some cocktails. I hope you guys are having a good week and I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!